Japan. So uh, in this conference, uh, almost all of the attendees are uh, researching about uh, RNA and uh, transcriptome. So, uh, and you know that RNA is a uh, uh, fragile molecule and it is uh, difficult to manipulate, but you are uh, almost a member of RNA specialist. But uh, in my case, uh, we have to transport the blood sample from a uh, far area to uh, central laboratory. So, and uh, but it is diff it is uh, very important to uh, measure the um, amount of the RNA. That is, the RNA amount uh, ex amount of the RNA explains the status of the cell uh, organs or the individuals. So uh, today I will explain so how to establish the uh, protocols to transport the RNA sample from uh, far uh, area to central laboratory. So as uh, you know, uh, on Friday, April March. 2011, the Tohoku earthquake and the tsunami hit north part of Japan. So here is Japan, and uh, this is the picture of the Japan, and uh, this color means uh, the seismic scores uh, level of the earthquake. So and the red cross means the uh, beginnings of the earthquakes, and so it was most powerful earthquake ever recorded to have hit Japan, and the fourth most powerful earthquake. Uh, <coughs> in the world since modern record keeping began in 1900. So uh, this picture shows the uh, tsunami tide attack to the uh, cities and here you can see the boat on the uh, building. Uh, <coughs> we lost more than uh, 40,000 people and uh, there are still living in the shelter more than uh, <coughs> 100 people. So. Uh, in February 2011, the Japanese government uh, decided to start the uh, Tohoku Medical Megabank Organization, TMM. So TMM is organized by Tohoku University and my Iwate Medical University. And TMS was supported by the AMED. This AMED, uh, uh, T AMED was provided top-down research uh, based on the plan for promotion of medical research and development in Japan. So uh, this is our mission, and uh, this uh, mission uh, is the same as the Tohoku University. So the goal of the Iwate Tohoku Medical Megabank project are uh, to merge the reverse of medical healthcare with uh, rebuilding the medical institution in disaster areas, uh, focusing on the disaster area of Iwate and Miyagi Prefecture by conducting a large-scale genome cohort study, we aim not only to contribute to the restoration of local medical service, but also to create uh, innovation drug development study and so to start precision medicine uh, for uh, medical, medical for each person. So Tohoku University, we call TOMO, and Iwate Medical University, we call IMM. So in TM, TMM project, uh, we plan to three generation cohort study that will increase 70,000 participants from 1,000 families. Three generation means the uh, grandmother, grandfather, parents, child, and brothers. And uh, we also are collecting samples uh, <coughs> from uh, community residents. Uh, Tohoku, to Tomo collect, uh, collecting the 50,000 participant samples and the uh, IMM. Uh, we collect the 30,000 blood and urine samples and the two transport to the uh, TOMO. And uh, we uh, already uh, uh, store over uh, 80,000 samples and we, I, uh, we aim to store an additional 70,000 samples, uh, bringing the total of uh, 150,000 sam uh, samples for the participants. And in our project, uh, Tomo sequenced the more than 1,000 genomes of uh, Japanese people, and uh, uh, we sequenced more than 3,000 uh, genome sequence of the participant, and also Tomo uh, provided the proteome and the metabolome profile uh, of the <coughs> uh, from the co uh, participant of our project, and also IMM. So this is our uh, organization. Uh, will be published the uh, metrome and transcriptome reference panels. So this, uh, these two universities uh, will combine and share the data, uh, genome and metrome and transcriptome 
proteome metabolome, and we will uh, publish and uh, uh, the all of the data uh, in in this year. Uh, you can access the uh, data in uh, near future. So uh, uh, to conduct the genome cohort study in TMM is one of our important aims. So uh, a cohort study, uh, you know that cohort study is a form of the intensive medical study for instance in medicine. It is an analysis of risk factor and follow a group of people who do not have the, uh, who, who do not have the disease and use correlation to determine the absolute risk of subject contraction. It is one type of clinical study design. <coughs> and uh, uh, in general cohort study, at first, uh, we get the written informed consent from the participant and uh, to get the baseline exposure information and biomaterials and also omics data. <coughs> And uh, in the near future, we will collect medical history and uh, omics data again, and we will try to find the interaction or the association between the omics data and disease. So, but, uh, uh, but uh, there are some problems uh, when we analyze the omics data for genome code study. So there are the three problems. So specificities, stabilities, and states. Specificities. Omics data including DNA maturation and gene expression pattern are defined between the uh, organs and the cell types and stabilities. RNA is a known as an unstable molecule and the DNA maturation level are also changed by environment factor during transportation and also state. Genome data will not be changed in life. But uh, uh, Gene expression level and maturation level status will be changed by time, so morning and evening, so and stimulus or environmental factors. So we have to resolve these uh, problems before start a cohort study. So specificities, so first problem is the specificities. As you know, in blood, there are many types of the cells, uh, <coughs> less cells, uh, proteases and the leukocytes and so on. So we have to decide uh, which uh, cells we will be stored because these cells have different message pattern and expression pattern. So next, the stabilities. So I said that uh, uh, in, the, in our project, I, we have to transport the blood samples from uh, Iwate prefecture here and two Miyagi prefectures. So how to transport the blood samples uh, uh, for genome sequence and PBMC storage from Iwate Annual Health Checkup Center. So you can see the blue and red uh, uh, studs. So to Tohoku University. And uh, second project, our project, uh, the, uh, how to transport the blood collection tubes for metrome and transcript analysis for our project and from satellite hospitals to Iwate Medical University. So the distance from Kuji to Iwate University is more than 140 kilometers. So here is the sample op operation uh, strategy. From annual health check center, uh, you can see the uh, people. So the, they are the uh, participant of our project. So we decided to transport the whole blood because uh, genome sequence is the uh, same in whole body. So we uh, only transport the whole blood. And uh, in the satellite hospitals, we transport the PBMC because we can easily to isolate the PBMC by using only one tube to, uh, and we transport the uh, PBMC to our laboratory. So, and uh, at our laboratory, uh, we decided to uh, store the several cell types of uh, whole blood, B cells, T cells, natural killer cells, monocyte, and etc. by using the uh, cell sorters. So, uh, but before we transfer the samples to the far area, we have to decide it. We have to decide the RNA stabilizer because you know that RNA is uh, uh, fragile molecules, and if we didn't use the uh, uh, stabilizer, RNA, RNA molecule will be uh, degraded. So this is a protocol to, we decided uh, which reagent is the best for our project. So at first, we get a written informed consent from the volunteers, 
and uh, we collect the blood and the de-identified from the sample. We remove the name, address, or telephone number, something, and we isolated the PBMC by using one tube, and we add the reagent. So uh, in positive control, we extract we extracted the RNA and immediately sequence by using the next generation sequencer. And negative control, we didn't uh, add uh, any reagent. And uh, here is the reagent. So one number one, 10% SDS, and number two, you know that the name of this reagent, RNA data, it is a very famous uh, reagent. And three to seven, these are the name of the RNA stabilizer. So after we add the reagent, we stored uh, minus 80 degrees these samples and so out and extracted RNA, uh, check the quality of the RNA, sequencing by the next generation sequencer and analyze the statistics and we decided the uh, protocol. So uh, this table is the result of the uh, purified RNA samples of each condition. I expectedly uh, the samples with RNA later uh, it's quite low. So you can see the lean value. We couldn't decide the uh, lean values because the uh, uh, RNA yield is quite low and the absorption score of uh, uh, RNA data is quite low. So, but on the, on the other case, RNA log stop one chio is good for our project. So next, uh, here is a pairwise scatter plot between uh, eight conditions from one participant, uh, from one um, volunteer. So the correlation between the control one and the one chio stop block is almost the same, more than 0 0.994. So this is a good correlation. But in the case of the, uh, without the stabilization, stabilizer or the SD is quite, is quite low. So uh, to examine where the transcriptome bias due to the uh, pre-analytical operation was larger than the transcriptome variation between individuals, we performed the clustering analysis of 56 transcriptome, eight conditions from each of seven volunteers. <coughs> As you can see in the green box, uh, the water a little bit small, so, but uh, interestingly, the expression profiles of the control one, control two, one TO, stop, lock, protect uh, condition were clustered uh, together for each. So each cluster means uh, each individual. So, but uh, in the case, oops, okay, ah, okay. So, but uh, the negative control and the SDS were separate uh, clusters. So these results indicated that the transcriptome bias and uh, the one TO stop lock and the protect condition was less drastic than transcriptomic variance between individuals. Okay, this slide shows the average and the standard deviation of the Pearson correlation coefficients between the uh, control one condition and the seven other conditions. <coughs> The Pearson correlation coefficient between the control one and the negative control were uh, quite high, and this means that uh, uh, bias was generated between these conditions. So, but uh, expected as expected under the one chio, one chio stop and lock and protect, there's no uh, significant difference between the control one. So. Uh, so this is our final protocol to transport, uh, transfer the blood samples from far area to the central laboratory. At first, we collect the blood sample from the uh, participant and use, uh, uh, we isolate the PBMC by using the one tube by centrifugation. And after that, we add the one chio solution to the PBMC and we uh, free this blood sample and transport uh, from far area more than 140 kilometers. And um, after um, we, we get a, br a blood sample from the far area, we isolated DNA or RNA by using this machine, Maxwell 16. After that, we stored RNA or DNA samples in deep freezer until we sequence the samples. So this is our final protocols. <coughs> So this is a picture of my team member. 
Uh, Dr. Furukawa, he contributed to select the target cells. And Dr. Omamo, uh, he is the main researcher of this, this research and the contribution to, contributed to establish these protocols. Thank you for your attention. Do we have any questions, folks? Anybody have any questions? Okay. Well, we have time for two. Uh, hi, I have hi. a question for uh, how long have you kept the PBMC mm -hmm. uh, for the frozen for the uh, maximum long time? Ah, okay. So uh, I think uh, about 30 minutes to isolate the PBMC from the, uh, to get the blood sample. Okay, so uh, between your uh, transportation and, and uh, how long will it take? Ah, transportation, transportation for twenty four hours. Okay. In, in okay. yeah, between. Okay, so you only the the PBMC for about only one or two days, and then yeah. you isolate yeah. the RNA. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions, folks? Second question. <laughs> okay. Do we have some? Can you do we have some methods mm -hmm. to find? Yeah. That I mean, you have eight condition. You see. Yes. Common something common to eight condition. Mm -hmm. Something are different. Mm -hmm. um, not between uh, oh. among the no eight condition. So. So here you can see the eight conditions. So. In these three cases, or the including the prote uh, protect, so there is four case we can get the high quality RNA. But in the case of the RNA, the RNA we couldn't get the high quality RNA. But I think this uh, RNA late the protocol of the these uh, uh, stabilizer is different. So and uh, I think if we uh, uh, we if we uh, after we isolated the PBMC, we remove the solution and uh, add the RNA data. We, I think we will get the high quality data from the uh, solution with the RNA data. But in our case, we just add and uh, freeze. So that is a difference between the uh, normal condition of the RNA data. Okay, great. Let we thank the presenter again.